Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about basics of integration. Let's get started. So when two human beings interact, it is called as communication. So when two systems interact, we can term it as an integration. So how this particular interaction between two systems happens? So there is something called as application program interface (API). It allows us the interaction between various applications as well. So Normally, we speak uh, many languages like Kannada, Tamil, Telugu, Hindi, Punjabi, Oriya, Gujarati, like that. So, when system wants to exchange the data between them, there might be some messaging formats. And today, I am going to deal you about just XML, which is extended markup language, and JSON, which is JavaScript object notation language. Uh, like these are one of the messaging formats that we have in the integration. So, in Pega. If you see here in Records Explorer, you have many things integration connectors, integration mapping, integration resources, and integration services. So, these are the integration related uh, rules you can find in Pega. So, uh, how they exchange messages? There's something called as protocols. Like REST is a protocol, SOAP is a protocol, representational state transfer, and simple object access protocol. So, in Pega, if you see, they can be uh, integration services or integration connectors. These are all the protocols that are supported by Pega. Cassandra is a protocol, HBase, CMIS, MQ, REST, SOAP, SAP, Robot, SQL. These are all nothing but protocols. Same in the case of services. You can see more protocols in connect than more protocols in services. There is something called as mapping rules. So, mapping rules are nothing but translators of the message uh, to Pega or to the other system. So, there are two kinds of uh, rules like stream rules and parse rules. Stream rules are nothing but it is uh, supported only for XML. It converts clipboard structure to common message format. Parse rules are nothing but we would be receiving the incoming message in whatever format it is, we would convert those into Pega understandable structure. That those are nothing but parse rules. And here, if you see parse rules, you can find in integration mapping. Parse normalize, parse structure, parse XML, parse delimiter. And these are all the other stream rules we have in Pega XML stream. These rules you can find in integration mapping. Protocols you can find in connectors and services. Next. What is connector actually and what is service? System which requests information is nothing but a connector. System which hosts information is nothing but service. So if you want to host some data from Pega and you want to give those service to other systems, then you would be creating service rules. Suppose if you want to get some uh, details from other system like payment details or Google map like that, then uh, you would be connecting to the other systems and get the data from them. Then you would be creating connector rules. As I said, there are many other integrations. I would be mainly focusing on REST and SOAP. So in REST, we have different methods called as GET, PUT, POST, DELETE. GET is used to retrieve a resource. PUT is for updating. POST is for resource creation. DELETE is for its removal. So REST will uh, use JSON. XML or text. What are these? These are nothing but our messaging formats. So REST supports all these three messaging format. Actually, JSON consumes uh, less bandwidth than XML. So people tend to create JSON requests only than XML. Whereas SOAP, it's only for XML message and it uh, offers more secure than REST service because it supports WS security encryption. When someone is trying to add you in a group in WhatsApp, you can have a restriction like only known persons or person who is already added in your contact list is able to add you in a group. You can have that settings within the, which is nothing but some authentication is there like whoever known to you can only interact with you, not everyone. So in the same case, so when two systems are interacting, we can uh, validate their identity and we can proceed ahead. So that is nothing but authentication. So these are all the normal terms that you see in next videos. So you have to be make sure to be aligned with all this uh, terminology. 
and these are the rules that we would be creating in the next videos like integration connectors these are integration mapping integration resources these for email listener gms mdb listener mq server and sms account already we have gone through a video where we have configured email listener and an email account those are like integration resources have a look on the sample json and xml request so in json this is the property and this is the value and this would be a comma and for the last instance there would be no comma we would be passing this json request and in xml every attribute will be quoted here and value will be labeled here hope you have learned some terminologies that we use regularly in integrations stay tuned for more integration videos to this channel happy learning please watch share and subscribe to my channel and turn on bell notification for latest videos